shall receive power. March 27. Godliness. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Godliness is the fruit of Christian character. If we abide in the vine, we shall bear the fruits of the Spirit. The life of the vine will manifest itself through the branches. We must have a close and intimate connection with heaven if we bear the grace of godliness. Jesus must be a guest in our homes, a member of our households, if we reflect his image and show that we are sons and daughters of the Most High. Religion is a beautiful thing in the home. If the Lord abides with us, we shall feel that we are members of Christ's family in heaven. We shall realize that angels are watching us, and our manners will be gentle and forbearing. We shall be fitting up for an entrance into the courts of heaven by cultivating courtesy and godliness. Our conversation will be holy, and our thoughts will be upon heavenly things. Enoch walked with God. He honored God in every affair of life. In his home and in his business, he inquired, Will this be acceptable to the Lord? And by remembering God and following his counsel, he was transformed in character and became a godly man whose ways please the Lord. We are exhorted to add to godliness brotherly kindness. Oh, how much we need to take this step to add this quality to our characters. In many of our homes there is a hard, combative spirit manifested. Critical words and unkind actions are offensive to God. Dictatorial commands and haughty, overbearing manners are not acceptable to heaven. The reason there are so many differences existing between brethren is that they have failed to add brotherly kindness. We should have that love for others that Christ has had for us. A man is estimated at his true value by the Lord of heaven. If he is unkind in his earthly home, he is unfit for the heavenly home. If he will have his own way, no matter whom it grieves, he would not be content in heaven, unless he could rule there. The love of Christ must control our hearts, and the peace of God will abide in our homes.